And welcome everybody, Ken Gonzalez here for George Langevin Productions. We are at the Betty Wilson Soccer Complex here in Las Vegas, Nevada, the 2007 Las Vegas, Las Vegas College Showcase. Get it out one of these days here. Las Vegas College Showcase. And we've got a girls under 16 match just underway. The Edmonds Soccer Club going up against the Slammers. Slammers out of Southern California, Edmond, Oklahoma. And the Slammers in red. Edmonds Soccer Club is in white. Just underway the first half. We have, of course, two 35 minute halves here today. And we'll get to the rosters for each of these squads here in just a second. Great complex here, the Betty Wilson. Nice surrounding area as well. That shot going towards the net. The header is going to be, oh, just missed right there. Just an inch or two too tall there, the flight of that ball. And it goes out. And Laura DiBiase. The keeper for the Slammers will retrieve that ball. So the Slammers really dodging a bullet right there early on. Both teams going up for that one. Slammers here, number 10, Kylie Bono keeps it in front. And now trying to get back to that ball. Number six for Edmund, Melissa McClaws. And McClaws is able to keep it in front and her team is able to bring it across midfield. Pass right up the middle. There's a shot with a right leg, open net practically. And right there, number seven for the Edmund Soccer Club, Amy Groh. Will put her team on top here, one nil, just Moments into this match. So Amy Grow with the first goal. So Edmund Soccer Club. On top 1-0 here. And let's see, battling for the ball, number 16, Jasmine Simmons. She hits the ground, and that penalty is going to go against the Slammers. And quickly with the left leg. That's one thing you notice here. The higher age groups, the older kids here, the older women, I should say, they get the ball in play very quickly. Slammers defense has to get back, and number 11 gets there. Courtney Giovanni and clears it away over to the far side. It's still Edmund Ball. And the free kick here. Nice kick lofted across midfield. Collision there with number 17, Megan Watkins. And now the ball will roll near the corner there. Number five getting between the ball and the slammer up front person there. That's Catherine Parrish. We do our best over there on that far side. You can see the angle here. It's very difficult to tell where that line is and whether or not we're near the corner or nearer to midfield. I think we're right in that middle third there. Right at the edge of that middle third and the final third of the field before you get to the left half. And number 17 running that one down from or into the corner, Megan Watkins. And from behind, she's going to be tripped up. It'll slide right there and might have an injury there on the far side for the Slammers. We'll have to see how that plays out right now. And so the free kick coming as that ball had gone out across the back line. Looks like number 19, Brittany King, will take the kick. Remember, we've got two 35-minute halves here today. And I've still got to get you the rosters. And again, number 11 gets back on defense, Courtney Giovanni. And a foot race and a little pushing there. Number 14, Ariel Rodriguez on number 16, Jasmine Simmons. 
Simmons gets back. She gets past number four. That ball high into the air. Couple of headers. And we've seen quite a few players now lose their footing out there today. So I'm not sure if there's a few holes out there or the ground is just a little too soft. But it's happened more than a few times. We'll see if that'll play any factor later on here. Stephanie Dierig gets back for the Slammers, and she'll send that ball flying across midfield. So the battle going on right here in the middle third of the field, and Edmond Soccer Club put it into their backfield to try to get something going here. Good job. Now with the action here in the middle, we'll get you the rosters for the Edmond Soccer Club out of Edmond, Oklahoma. Number double, or not double, but zero one is Katie Matuska. She's a keeper on this squad, and at keeper right now is number one, Chris Grow. Number two is Taylor Robinson. Number three is Callie White. Number four is Caitlin Mooney. Number five is Catherine Parrish. Number six, Melissa McClaws. Number seven is Amy Grow, and of course Amy scoring that first goal for Edmund. And right down the middle goes Edmund again. Caitlin Mooney this time with a pass to the left. Goes right back to Mooney, but finally cleared away. Number eight is Alexandria Hampton. Number nine is Callie Cooper. Number 11, Lacey Key. Number 13, Megan Marchesano. Number 16, Jasmine Simmons. Number 17 is Megan Watkins. Number 18, Katie Turner. And you see Mooney again in the middle, but has her pocket picked, and the Slammers take it upfield. And number 19 for the Edmond Soccer Club is Brittany King, the head coach Jimmy Hampton, and the team manager Jennifer King. And there's Chris Grow right there, the keeper for Edmond. Number nine, Callie Cooper. And now, Edmund, they're getting into a passing game, playing a little keep away now from the Slammers. So hopefully, or their hope is, they can find a back door somewhere, find a seam, and, and just run right down that seam. Right in front of us here, a collision, and on the ground, player for Edmund. No whistle. In fact, we may have only had one whistle so far for a penalty here today. and Edmund, of course, with that 1-0 lead, as you see. And we may have a substitution here. So injured player here for Edmund and coming in to replace that's number nine, Callie Cooper, and number three, Callie White, will come in. There's number four, Caitlin Mooney. She was in the middle there previously. And so hopefully, Callie Cooper can come right back in. Ball bouncing over to the keeper. And we've played almost 10 minutes here, so just about 25 minutes to go here in the first half. Go forward, go forward, go forward. Keep it, Angels, keep it. Number eight there in the middle, getting to the ball, Alexandria Hampton. Another collision there, and I'm not sure that that wasn't a penalty. As Slammers did not have control of the ball, they certainly weren't in a position to make a play on it. This referee letting things go here today. Number 16 there, Simmons, Jasmine Simmons. And let's see, finally a whistle there by the ref. That's going to go against Edmund. 
And Mariah Nagara starts things off for the Slammers here. Nice job keeping the ball in front with her body there. That's going to be an offside. And so the ball will go over to the Slammers. And now I think we can get you the roster for that Slammers football club, as we, as we said, out of California, the Coast Soccer League, Southern California. Number one is Lindsey Brown. Number two is Natalie Alatore. Number three, Stephanie Derrig. Number four, Laura Diabasi. Number five is Lauren Kennedy. Number six, Darian Versillo. Ball's gonna go high into the air on that bounce, but luckily the keeper can bring it down, luckily for the slammers, that is. Number seven, Kimberly James. Number eight is Samantha Strom. Number nine, Alexandria Pe Peets. Number 10 is Kylie Bono. Number 11, Courtney Giovanni. Number 12, Jaden Barrett. Number 13, Sarah Gomez. Number 14, Ariel Rodriguez. You see the keeper there, Chris Grow picks that one up. Number 15, Kylie Doniak. Number 16, Mariah Nagara. Number 17, Mary Grace Schmidt. And number 18 is Jasmine Mendiola. The head coach is Rick Young, and Dana McElroy is the team administrator. Stephanie Derrig puts the ball into play. Slammers, number nine, moving across Alexandria Peets. Back into the near side, Kylie Bono, and Kylie moves inside, and now her cross to the far side is very long, but run down by Ariel Rodriguez. Collision as Jasmine Simmons tangles up with Kylie Doniak on the far side, and no whistles, the ball goes out. It belongs to the Slammers again, and they'll put it into play. And again, off, off of Simmons. So the Slammers coming into the backfield here of Edmund. But that white squad making things very difficult on him to even make a turn and gain any ground toward the net. Ball rolled into the hands of Chris Grow. Got a nice strong kick. The Slammers are going to win it there on the header, and they keep it on the left half of the field. So the ball will go to Edmund. It was theirs anyway. I think the official call there was an offside. Ball to the far side and a collision. Simmons again going up against Kimberly James this time. And Simmons is going to be whistled. And, you know, that's twice that Simmons has been whistled for a penalty. But I'm not sure that it's really, I mean, she's causing the, the contact, obviously. But it's, she's trying to be aggressive there and gain positioning. I don't think it's anything other than that. And I think she's just coming up on the wrong end of that whistle. A little different positioning. And that call could go the other way quite easily. Ball at midfield, number four, Caitlin Mooney. Now she's got two trailing her. Makes a wide turn, now moves upfield right down the middle. What a play. A little give and go to her teammate Amy Grove. Back to Mooney. Mooney with a shot on goal, and it's going to be just wide of the near post. What a job right there by number four, Caitlin Mooney. She was here on the near side, right around midfield. Saw some trouble, started to be chased by two defenders. She makes a wide circle, comes all the way around, beelines it right down the middle of the field, hooks up with Amy Grow. Grow goes right back to her and she takes the shot. It's just wide, so nice job there for those two for the Edmonds Soccer Club trying to Put another score into the net. Oh, 
Go on, Kate, you're on! You're on, Kate! Number seven and number four battling there, and it's Kimberly James getting around Caitlin Mooney. And she had control momentarily, but then the ball just skips away from her, goes out on the far side, and goes right back to the Edmond Soccer Club. And we played over 15 minutes now, so just about 20 minutes remaining. Shot to the goal is going to be well over the crossbar. And again, the white squad, Edmond, enticing the keeper to come out. They had a clear shot to the net right there. It's just a little too high. Megan Marchesano, number 13. Now into the match for Edmund. Ball run down on the near side by Marchesano. I'm surprised that she was able to keep the ball in the play. That's some nice speed there over to Lacey Key. And now in the middle, number two, Taylor Robinson. Edmund really turning on the speed right now. Because they want to attack. I think that they see something there in the backfield of the Slammers that they can try and exploit. And they want to take advantage of that as quickly as they can before the Slammers make an adjustment on that one. Couple of bounces into the backfield again and scooped up by the keeper. And a whistle there by the referee. We've seen tons worse here today. And that little touch right there as both players go up for the ball and just some incidental contact. We get the whistle. I don't even know how you sort that one out. And it's going to go against Edmund right now. And so the slammer is with the ball. There you see number 16, Mariah Nagara. And I believe that's Courtney Giovanni. Number 11 will take the free kick. And let's see if the slammers moving right to left can take advantage there. She'll pooch that ball just to the near side here of the net. Forced out by the defense. Nice job by Edmund. So never a real threat. There's a cross by number three, Stephanie Dierig. Slammer's still here in the left half of the field. And I think what's going on right now, Edmund, just a little too antsy, I think, to push the ball up front. And they're just trying to, you know, send it to the from left to right as soon as they get a touch. But I think if they can control the ball a little bit better, use their bodies, put it down in front of them, maybe dribble it a few yards before you pass, they'll have a better time bringing it across midfield. Another cross, that's gonna be long and a foot race here. Can anybody get there? It's gonna go out, out on the side and it's off the slammers and so, well, let's see now. Yes, it is off the slammers and so, Edmund will put the ball into play. Coming out of that near corner, Jasmine. Number 14 running that ball down. Ariel Rodriguez into the middle. There's a shot to the net. That's going to be wide. Coming across, look like number eight, Samantha Strom. And that was her in front of the net. And so it was the last touch by Edmund. And so we'll have a corner kick here for the Slammers. So the Slammers with the corner kick from the far side. Marcusano, back in front of nine. I don't need you up here. Drop back into some space. Find your runner! Here comes a kick. Lofted, it's going to be just long and roll out. Harris, pop up in that middle with Taylor Robinson. 
And for Edmund, number 18, coming into the match, it looks like a, an eight. A little difficulty right there. That's Katie Turner. And number 11 coming in, Lacey Key. They're actually coming out. And we've hit the 20th minute here, so 15 minutes remaining in the first half and 40 minutes remaining, actually a little bit more, 50 minutes remaining in the match. Remember 235s? I believe a five minute halftime break. Number 10 there. Kylie Bono for the Slammers, and they come way back into their backfield. And now somebody's going to have to try and win this one here at midfield. Ball right down the middle, and right there, Grow is going to handle it. Just rolls it out here to the near side, number six, Melissa McClaws. And she's got a lot of room to operate with and decides to fire the ball upfield. It's here at the near side, rolls and kept in play, but stepping in the lane, the slammers, although they can't control it and bring it up across midfield. Number six, Melissa McClaws. Off to Katie Turner, who just as she released it, was hammered there. Just like a quarterback. As soon as he releases the ball, then he gets drilled. That's exactly what happened there. Edmund into the middle of the field now. But just didn't have the personnel in the proper location. And so the Slammers were able to take it away in a takedown. Number eight, Samantha Strom hitting the ground hard for the Slammers. Do we have a whistle? We do, and I believe it was just because the ball was out. We may have had a substitution, and they tried to put the ball into play too quickly. Beautiful day here in Las Vegas. As we said, this is the 2007 Las Vegas... <laughs> In trouble with that term here today. Maybe too much gambling. I don't know. Ball out across the back line, and I think that's a goal kick here for. Actually, it's a corner kick for the Slammers. So it's the 2007 Las Vegas College Showcase. We're here at Betty Wilson Soccer Complex. Yesterday we had a game at the. Let's see where are we? we've got Ed Fountain here, I believe. We've got Betty Wilson. Kellogg Zaire. In front of the net. Can they get a shot with the left leg? They do, but it's cleared away. Nice job by the defense of the Edmond Soccer Club, denying the Slammers. And the header right there, number 16, Mariah Nagara. She wanted it to go left, and it went right. And you see her put her hands on her face. She thought she had a great opportunity right there, maybe. Even if the header went the way she wanted it, there was a lot of traffic between her and the net, so not necessarily was that ball going to be chalked up as a goal. Here on the near side. Number 18 gets to it there. Jasmine Mendiola. Off to her teammate Nagara. Slammer's now trying to spread the field, going to a more stringent passing game, and it's kind of working out for them as they're able to bring the ball from their backfield. In about the midway point into Edmund territory. Giving Chase, Brittany, or uh, Katie Turner, that is, for Edmund. And again, 
Near side, middle to far side, spreading the field, the Slammers. They trail 1-0 here in the first half. The goal scored by Edmonds' Amy Grow. So the Edmonds Soccer Club, I'm not sure if they're content with the one goal here in the first half. Obviously, they have the lead, so they'd like to at least have this score remain the same heading into halftime. Always something going on here in Vegas, soccer-wise at least. We remember we were here a few weeks ago. It was two weeks ago. President's Day weekend had that tournament here, and we had the NBA All-Star Game here as well. Very, very crowded area with all the people in town for that. And two substitutions into the match now for Edmund, number seven, Amy Grow back in, and number nine. Callie Cooper. So they should have their break. Remember Callie Cooper was injured there a little bit earlier and she has now come back in. Here come the slammers. Oh, she pulls up. Number 15. Number 15, Kylie Doniak pulled up. Samantha Strom ends up taking the shot on goal, but you could tell Kylie Doniak wanted to attack right there for whatever reason. She thought better of it at the last second. Well, better for better or for worse, I should say. I'm not sure that if she didn't attack right there, she would have had a better opportunity than Samantha Strom did. Edmund working the middle again. They like that little give and go right there. Number four, number eight, Caitlin Mooney and Alexandria Hampton trying to work together on that one. And a slide tackle, the ball goes out on the far side and will belong to the Edmund Soccer Club. So the Edmund Soccer Club out of the Edmund or the Oklahoma Soccer Association. And if my facts are correct, they're established. This ball will roll here to the near side. I believe 1975 or 76. So they've been around quite some time. Their official name is the 91 Black, the Edmonds Soccer Club. 91 Black, and that was another vicious hit taken by number nine again. Kelly Cooper, and she's going to stay in, but boy, she is going to be sore. Hopefully there's a uh, jacuzzi over at the hotel where they're staying because she's going to need that tonight. She's going to be very sore. But she has been nailed twice, and she's still in the match. There's the whistle shot towards the net. There's a header getting away from the keeper. And finally cleared away. Boy, Edmond Soccer Club should have had their second goal. That was a perfectly placed ball. The header was there, and it was just off. Actually, it was just off, and then the second attempt off of that was just wide. So the corner kick here for Edmond with the left leg. In front of the net, it's a little bit long and is going to roll out across the back line. Edmund wants a corner, and they're going to say, no, it's a goal kick. So a break right here for the Slammers. 
And number 11, Lacey Key back into the match now. And she will replace number 16, Jasmine Simmons. And I will have to give a thumbs up to the uniforms of the Edmonds Soccer Club. Not only are they great, white with the black numbering, you can read the numbers as a play-by-play -play announcer. That's always key. But another key thing, which most teams don't do, is they've got numbers on the front and the back. Oh, it just makes it so much easier. Taylor worked back, Taylor Robinson dropped. Ball near the corner. Two on one right there and getting through everybody. Number 15, Kylie Doniak. And her shot is going to be just wide. She was surrounded by Lacey Kia, number 17, Megan Watkins, and was able to break out of that. But it's a corner kick for the Edmond Soccer Club. We have under five minutes to play here in the first half. 1-0 in favor of Edmond. Ball still bouncing around in front of the net. Finally, Chris Groh will haul it in. Get it on the floor, White. Come on, Pax. Taylor again. They're just bite back. And the Slammers now are trying to give themselves every opportunity here before the end of the first half to tie this match up. Amy Groh. Put the Edmond Soccer Club 91 black on top early on, just a few minutes into the match. And that's where we're at. It's still 1 0 here with just about three minutes remaining in the first half. So, of the 70 minutes we're going to play here today, we have approximately 32 of them knocked down. Again, Kylie Doniak, she all of a sudden has become very busy for the Slammers. One of the brighter spots out there for them today. And number 19, Brittany King for Edmond Soccer Club. Watching her teammate, number 17, Megan Watkins. Slammers now with the cross. It's going to roll along here on the side, near side, number seven. Kimberly James will take a shot into the middle, but it's deflected away and out here on the near side. Again, into the middle, just a little bit too tall. Nobody able to hit that one. Two headers going up for it. And out across the back line, and they're going to give a corner here. So a corner kick with just about a minute and a half remaining here in the first half. Big break for the Slammers. This may be their last play of the half. Number three, Stephanie Deerig will take the kick. Here comes the kick, nicely lofted. Right in front, there's a header to the net, and that ball's gonna find the back of the net, and they're gonna capitalize here on the last second. Nagara, number 16, I believe, came across. And the Slammers with the score. And so Mariah Nagara with the header to Samantha Strom, and it was Samantha Strom with that tying score, and so, so we're at 1-1 with just moments to go here in this first half. Huge break for the Slammers. They capitalize, they get the corner kick with about a minute to go, and they push it through. And so a 1-1 tie, and that's gonna be disheartening there for the Edmonds Soccer Club as they had led ever since about two minutes into this match. And then to give up the tying score late. And so the Slammers will definitely have the momentum as we move into the second half. And I've got unofficially, of course, now we've hit the 35th minute of play. 
here in the first half. And so number three, Stephanie Dierig over in the corner again. And let's see if the Slammers can make it two in a row on the corner kicks. Lofted up nicely in front. Oh, it's going to be just a little bit long. And there's the whistle and the end of the first half. So what a match it was. Edmond Soccer Club on the board first. Go all the way down with just about a minute and a half remaining in the first half. And that's when the slammer is off the corner kick. Tie it up. So we go into halftime. I'm Ken Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions. It's 1-1 at the half. We'll be back with the second half in just a minute. And we're back. Ken Gonzalez here for George Lange of Productions. The start of the second half of this girls under 16 match. And it's the Edmond Soccer Club and the Slammers all tied up at one. As we start the final 35 minutes of play, we'll see which of these two teams jumps out here. Slammer is most definitely carrying the momentum into halftime as they trailed the entire first half. They trailed for about 31 and a half minutes. Just about a minute and a half or so remaining in that half. Samantha Strom ties it up off the header. Assist by Mariah Nagara. So the team switching side here in the second half. And, the, and so the Edmund squad moving from right to left on your screen. Again, they're in white. Slammers in red. Brett, the Betty Wilson's 
the Betty Wilson Soccer Complex here in Las Vegas, the 2007 Las Vegas College Showcase. So number seven here for the Slammers, Kimberly James will put the ball into play. Edmund, all tied up right now on defense. And number five, Catherine Parrish will just push that ball out here on the near side and James will put it into play again. We will be back for the Las Vegas Premier Invitational here in Las Vegas. In just about a week. Actually, two weeks from this weekend, we will be back. There's a trip there, number nine. Callie Cooper trying to make her move, and that whistle is going to go against Edmund. And so the Slammers will have the opportunity to clear it away. Now you can see the flags in the background there. It is really starting to get windy here. In fact, we did a game yesterday, and we were discussing how we hadn't seen the wind yet, and well, here it is today. Very windy here, as usual in Las Vegas. I say that all the time. People look at me like I'm crazy. They say it's not windy here. No. When I am, it seems to be. Number eight here at midfield. Alexandria Hampton for Edmund. Kick just a little bit long and wide there and rolls out. And so a goal kick here for the Slammers. So the ball retrieved there by the Slammers, and number 11 will put it down. Courtney Giovanni, and she will take the goal kick. Samantha Strom, number eight, trying to work over there in the far corner. Ball still in play. Both players ended up on the ground at some point there. And no whistle. Very hard to tell which of these two teams has any sort of an advantage right now. Very even. Obviously the score tied 1-1, but there isn't a one side out there that looks like they're trying to take control of this match, although the Slammers right now are doing a nice job opening up the field with a, with a nice passing game. There's a cross in front of the net, number seven. Kimberly James, she saw Samantha Strom streak and they tried to hook up for the header there and it was just a little long and a little high. New keeper into the match now for, or in the second half for the Edmond Soccer Club and that is Katie Matuska. So Matuska now in at keeper. Edmund trying to dribble this ball out of their backfield. It's still rolling around. Number two is there, Taylor Robinson. And right there, the Slammers fall into the lanes. They take it away and they keep it here on the right half of the field. Give yourself 
Ball on the near side. Now Edmund wants to put it into the middle. They do, but nobody home. And the Slammers will spread the field. Number three, Stephanie Deerig. Coming up on the 42nd minute of this 70-minute match. We played roughly seven minutes here in the second half, so just under half an hour to go, just about 28 minutes of play. And we're all tied up at one. That ball's gonna hit the side of the net. And that's another goal kick here for the Edmond Soccer Club. And let's see, did they change the call? Now it looks like they're gonna give a corner to the Slammers, so huge opportunity here for the red team. So Cal Blues in the background there, you can never miss those uniforms, very bright out of the same league as these Slammers in Southern California. So those two kids are very familiar with each other. Here comes the corner kick. High into the air, just a little bit long, and neither another header by Nagara, but this time it's pushed out by the white squad, and now it'll roll across midfield. Offside call against the Slammers. So the kick, the ball is down. The kick will come up here. Matuska goes right down the middle. Kylie Doniak, number 15 for the Slammers, trying to make something happen. Now the ball rolls here to the near side at number nine, Callie Cooper, with some speed showing no ill effects. Those two shots that she took in the first half. Nice takeaway, Caitlin Mooney there. Nice job taking it away. Now. All of a sudden, the Edmonds Soccer Club trying to put something together, a push in the back right there. And actually, that's gonna go against Edmund. Slammers. Now they want to push it upfield quickly. Now they're down the middle, shot to the net. It's going to find the back of the net. What a shot by the Slammers. And again, the second goal of the match, number eight, Samantha Strom. So the Edmonds Soccer Club, they find themselves down now. Two to one here in the second half, that goal coming. At about the nine and a half minute mark here of the second half, the 44th and a half minute of the match. And so it's the Slammers who were trailing one nil until about two minutes remaining in that first half. They put two back to back or two unanswered scores together. And they now lead two to one over the Edmond Soccer Club. Kimberly James, number seven on the ground there for the Slammers. Kenley goes against Edmund. And so the free kick right here, just below midfield on the near side. Taylor, I don't need you. They don't even have anybody up front. Let the backs deal with her. Christ. Long kick in front of the net, the defense, clearing it away for Edmund there. Number six, getting away from everybody, moves near the back line, oh, trips on the ball. Darian Vercello. James with the center there, looking again for that number eight, Samantha Strong. And a nice play by the keeper, Katie Matuska, to keep that ball not only just in front, but to actually Hold it. That was a smoking little line drive kick. Moving away from her. 
very difficult one to handle right there. Number nine, Callie Cooper trying to make something happen and she's gonna hit the ground again the third time today. And looks like she's gonna be slow getting up. So the ball out of the far side, and I still think that number nine, Callie Cooper, is shaking up as you see number 13 coming into the match. Megan Marquisano. You see that whistle in front right there. Number 10, guilty. Kylie Bono and so Edmund will have an opportunity to get something started here they trail two to one and they really haven't been heard from offensively since about the two and a half minute mark of the match and here we are into the 47th minute of the match So the free kick here in a nice spot for the Slammers. Strong to the net here on the near side, James. And just gets twisted around on the wrong side. The ball rolls out and so a goal kick for the Edmond Soccer Club. Slammers want to attack again, but nice job by the defense, clearing it up. Well, away from the net at least. Can't quite get it across midfield. Robinson giving chase there. Ball near the corner, you got two on one. Number 19, Brittany King, and let's see, the ball just goes out. And so it's Edmund Ball. Or actually, they called a penalty, so maybe a push against the Slammers. Either way, it's white ball. Nice job staying on her feet. Number 13 here, Megan Marquisano. She holds up smartly, waits for some help. And that cross is going to go through one teammate and taken by the red jerseys and back left to right. Now it's just going to roll, roll. Nobody here. And finally goes out, and it is white ball. midfield. Marquisano streaking down the sideline there. She wanted that little give right there. Number eight, Alexandria Hampton. Ball's gonna sky here to the near side. Oh, two players going up and you saw that collision coming. And that's gonna go against Edmund. that James there, number seven. Kimberly James down and she finally slowly gets up. And so the free kick here, the near side, number 11, Courtney Giovanni. 
19 minutes remaining here in the match. We get the 51st minute. Two to one in, in favor of the Slammers. That's a handball, number six, Darian Virchillo. Here comes Edmund, right down the middle. Oh, Mooney gets away from one. Can't she get a shot? Goes in deep. Oh, the defense makes a great play. The keeper had come out. And Caitlin Mooney is denied there. But she took it herself. Great opportunity, great chance. She did all she could. It looked as though she had an open net there for a second. The defender steps up. Takes the place of the keeper and clears it away. Now I've got an injured slammer on the ground. So two to one slammers over the Edmond Soccer Club second half. So when we start play again, I believe the ball will belong to the Slammers. And into the match substitution wise for the Slammers is number nine, Alexandria Peets. Actually, I was mistaken. It's going to be a corner kick here for Edmund. And on what they do is the right thing. They just roll it over to the keeper, and we start fresh. Ball rolling on the ground. Left leg. Now back the other way. No man's land ball will roll towards the back line, but saved there by Matuska. Actually, it did go out, and so number 19 will have the goal kick here. Brittany King. Coming up on the 55th minute of play, so just about 15 minutes remaining here in the match. Two to one, Slammers. Edmund trying to attack, Slammers defense gets back quickly. And ball still in play. Thought it had gone out on the far side, but it's still in. Now in the middle, and finally cleared up towards midfield. One there by number five, Catherine Parrish. Keeps it in front of her, nice job. And now it'll be pushed here to the near side. And will go out. Still white ball. Streak into the net, Megan Marquisano, number 13. She had too much traffic in front of her to do anything right there, and the Slammers will bring it back right, left to right. Nagara with the header, number 16. She likes that move. She's good at it. It has already helped her squad with one score today. She had the assist on Samantha Strum's first score, the tying score with just about well under two minutes to go in that first half. Megan Watkins, number 17. And right there at midfield, Amy Groh, number seven. She has a lone goal today for Edmund. Go on, Go on, Go on, Go on, Go 
Alexandria Hampton, number eight. Give it right back to her down the middle. Can't she get a shot? She wanted one, wanted that shot and go with the left leg, but the defenders will push her out. James, number seven, and it's taken away. And the ball out on the near side, and I believe it belongs to Edmund. <laughs> Megan Watkins puts the ball into play. King, now they're spreading it out. Number 11 up across midfield with that kick. That was Lacey Key. A lot of physical activity there between number five, Catherine Parrish, and number six, Darian Vercillo. Number 16 here, Jasmine Simmons. Pass here to the near side. Again, number 17, Watkins. Coming across, number four, threading the needle there, Caitlin Mooney, but not in a position to take advantage of that and to control that ball in front of her. It goes out across the back line. She touches it last. And we will have a goal kick here for the Slammers. Fifty eighth minute of play. So roughly twelve minutes to go here in the match. These large tournaments, you've got to get games done, get the new ones started. They do a pretty good job. There are some tournaments we go to by the end of the day. And those late matches are starting 20 or 30 minutes late. But here they keep things pretty much on time. And as you can see around the field, we've got both teams. And there's a trip up there. Both players hitting the ground. Strom and number 11, Lacey Key. And let's see who that whistle goes against. But you've got the two teams ready to play next. They're ready to go on the sidelines. So that goes against Edmund. And I'm not sure if we missed it. There may have been a yellow card issued because referee riding on his pad there. But that was no more vicious than a lot of the other hits we've seen here today. Nogueira. Trying to get around Key, and that's going to go out, and that's a corner kick for the Slammers. Here it comes. Nice job on the header, pushing it out. It'll roll to the far side. Will anybody get there before it goes out? No. And so on the far side, the ball will belong to the Slammers again. Now hit the 60th minute of play, so 10 minutes to go here in this match between the Edmond Soccer Club and the Slammers. Girls under 16. And number six, Melissa McClaws, and number 18, Katie Turner into the match now for Edmund. Robinson battling there against Kylie Bono, number 10. Slammers will win that one. Nagara with a cross. Over to James, but she had to pick it up off her with one knee on the ground. And it gave just enough time for Edmund to get there and push it, or push the action that is to the left half, although they didn't have control of the ball. Nice strong kick by Katie Matuska. Three, three. I don't want her receiving the ball if she get on her when they get it. I don't want her receiving the ball. 
White team gets back on defense. Remember, they're trailing by a goal. Number nine tangled up there for the Slammers, Alexandria Peets. And that's gonna go against her, so the ball to Edmund. Ball's going to roll right out of the hands of the keeper. She'll pick it up. Now it's going to be cleared up towards midfield. And boy, Edmund, now the time is running down. They had that one goal lead. They're trailing two to one now. And their back starting to get pinned up against the wall there because time is running down. Only about eight minutes remaining here in the match as we've hit the 62nd minute. Katie Turner there. Number 18, a little equipment malfunction, getting that shoe back on. And number eight, Alexandria Hampton there. She will, I believe Alexandria is gonna take this kick and it's a huge opportunity for Edmund right now. Opportunity to tie the match. Little pooch towards it, and it's going to be just over the bar. That was number 17, Megan Watkins, taking the kick. She went right at it. It was just a little too high. Sixty-three minutes of play expired here, so. Unofficially, we're at it around seven minutes remaining, two to one in favor of the Slammers. And you heard the coach of the Edmonds Soccer Club, Jimmy Hampton. And I believe he was telling number 17, Megan Watkins, to just put a little more oomph into that kick. Line drive it there. You might have a little better result it was close as it was, just over the crossbar. Number seven here on the near side, Amy Grow. And now Edmund. They want to push the tempo here. Number four, Caitlin Mooney. Gets around a couple of red jerseys into Grow in the middle again. Let's see if they can set something up over to the far side. And Taylor Robinson loses her footing. And so the ball will roll out on that far side and will belong to the Slammers. Ball over near the corner. That's going to be an offside against the red team, I believe. And so. Edmund will have it, and they need to set something up as we have now, well, in about 10 seconds or so, we will hit the 65th minute of play, which means there's only five minutes remaining here in the match. A little flick right there by Robinson, but I think she thought number eight, Alexandria Hampton was directly behind her, but she was off to the side a bit, and that allowed the slammers to get to that ball first and clear it away. Go on, Caitlin. Ball rolls over to the corner. It's a foot race and let's see here. It's out across the back line. And I think we have a quarter kick coming up for the Slammers. So an opportunity here for the Slammers now to really just slam the door, if you will. Number 18, Jasmine Mendiola will take the corner. And if they can score here, it's three to one with about five minutes. Actually now about four minutes remaining. So that would be that. But let's see what Edmund can do right here. They need to push it away and streak to the net that header into the air we had a collision inside there and that's going to go against the slammers and so 
Edmund quickly wants to set it up. Too much activity there in the middle, and I think they'd have been better served with a long kick up towards midfield. Too many red jerseys down here, and not much time to try and dribble it upfield. All that activity. And now things are starting to move just a little too quickly, a little sloppy maybe, just a little bit. You've got one squad desperately trying to bring it up to the left half of the field, and you've got the other squad just trying to keep it away. So each side with a touch or two before they send it firing, send the ball streaming down to the other side. And you know, there's time. You've got, you're down by a goal. You've got three minutes now if you're the slammer or if you're Edmund. And if you just think about it, you put together a nice little play, dribble it up from about midfield in front of the net, clear it away. That's plenty of time to set up a score. It's just the only problem I have is when you're in deep in your own backfield and you're trying to dribble it up, push it up quickly, get it to midfield, then set something up, then go to a passing game, then spread it open. That's what worked for you early on and the other times where you got a, a decent look as well. In front of the box, can they get a shot? No, cleared away by the red jerseys. Huge opportunity right there, or huge scare for slammers, either way you look at it. Ball will roll into the corner. Number eight there. Samantha Strom has the two slammers goals today. And we have now hit the 68th minute of play. That whistle, that's going to go against number 15, Kylie Doniak. So the free kick here. For Edmund, they need a good one. Alexandria Hampton, number eight. Here comes her kick towards the net. There's the header. Oh, it's going to be just wide. That's what they wanted. And boy, that would be spectacular if they would have scored right there. There's the whistle and the end of the match. Alexandria Hampton set it up perfectly. They got the header. It was just wide. And so the Slammers will eke out a two to one victory here in Las Vegas, the 2007 Las Vegas College Showcase. The final score, the Slammers FC two, the Edmonds Soccer Club one. I'm Ken Gonzalez for George Landry Productions. We hope you enjoyed this match. It was my pleasure to bring it to you. And until we see you again, be safe and have a great day everyone. Any comments about the tournament? Did you have a good time? Well, I know I love this tournament. Uh, <laughs> great weather, fun to play, lots of coaches. That's always good. So, yeah. Good competition. Do I need yeah. to say what I'm from? Just passion. Um, I just thought it was very good competition. We worked hard. I thought we worked pretty hard. We just didn't come out with the win. Okay. okay, well don't push it. Do I need to say my? Um, 
I'm Taylor Robinson, number two in the midfield. I'm Chris Groom, number one. I'm a goalkeeper. I'm Callie Cooper. I'm number nine. I'm a midfielder. I'm Callie White, number three. I play in the back. I'm Drew Hampton. I'm number eight. And I play in the back. Um, I like Vegas. <laughs> It's a good tournament. Um, there's a lot of coaches, but we just didn't come out the way we wanted to this time. We didn't train enough, I think, but still, it was pretty good. So, um, we worked really hard, but we just didn't come out with the results we wanted. But hopefully, we'll be back and do better. We're good. Anybody else? We're good. We're good. Caitlin Mooney, forward four. Um, Catherine Parrish, number five. I play in the back. Melissa McClaws, number six, right back. Megan Marcusano, number 13, I play up top. Any comments, Caitlin Mooney? <laughs> uh, I really like this tournament because the weather was really good and the competition was really good and I thought um, I learned a lot from this tournament. Hopefully next year we'll come back and take care of business. Yeah, I think that we didn't get the result we wanted, but everybody came out and played hard, so hopefully next year we'll be better. It's too hot in Vegas. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm Katie Turner, number 18, and I play in the midfield. Katie Martuska, number 01, and I play in the Lacey Key, number 11, I play in the midfield. Here we go, number 7, and I'm forward. Comments? This tournament was fun because the weather's good and the competition's great. We just didn't get the result we wanted, but we'll be back. Yeah, this tournament's very great. All the coaches. Um, we really didn't get what we wanted to, but ne maybe next year. Uh, this year we didn't exactly get the results that we wanted, but we'll try harder and come back next year. Okay. <laughs>